In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Ubuntu server virtual machine using VirtualBox. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to log into that virtual machine via SSH in headless mode. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need a couple things here. If you go to virtualbox.org and click on this downloads link, you'll come to this page where you can download the VirtualBox installer. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, all that good stuff. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to get my Mac installer here. We're also going to need an Ubuntu ISO image. So you can go to ubuntu.com slash download. And we want the server version. You can do this with the desktop version, which has a, a user interface, but because in the future, we're gonna develop a website on here, we're gonna pick the Ubuntu server option and getting the latest stable version 22.04 is perfect. So we'll go ahead and download that. Okay, so while that's downloading, let's go ahead and install VirtualBox. So I'll open up the installer here. And as it says here, we'll double click this icon to execute the installer. So in here, we will click on continue install. I'll type my password, hit enter, and that's gonna go ahead and do the install. The installation was successful, software was installed, perfect. So we'll close out of that. And on Mac, yes, you can move the installer to the trash. And now, if I go, I can either go to Spotlight and search for VirtualBox or open it directly from my apps folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and because I actually have used VirtualBox in the past, I do have these other VMs. You won't see this if this is the first time you're using VirtualBox, but that's okay because we're gonna add a new virtual machine to this list. And the way we're gonna do that is by clicking this new button here. And we're gonna call this Ubuntu 22.04 and we're going to pick that ISO image that just finished downloading. So I'm going to navigate to that on my computer, which is in my downloads directory. So I'm going to select that, click open, and it automatically detects the type and the version of Ubuntu that we selected. Now, in this case, I'm going to skip unattended installation. I tried that a couple times and I didn't have much luck with it. Um, so all that means is we'll just have to manually select some options throughout the installation. But that's okay because I'll guide you through that. So I will click on next. And at this point, you can configure how much of your system resources you're going to allocate to your virtual machine. So in this case, we're looking at two gigabytes of RAM, which is good. And one CPU core, uh, I'll bump that up to two CPU cores and I'll hit next. A virtual hard disk of 25 gigabytes sounds okay for me, so I'll click on next. And this is kind of just a review of what we were installing, so that looks good to me. Let's click finish. Okay, now we have our virtual machine here in our list of VMs. Let's go ahead and start that up. And what that's gonna do is open up a window. It does start pretty small, but we can make that bigger by clicking down here going to virtual screen one and we'll make it, uh, let's start with 200%, see if that looks better. That's okay for, for this tutorial. Um, so let's go ahead and install the Ubuntu server. So you can use your keyboard now to select your different options up and down and I'm gonna hit enter for try or install Ubuntu server. Okay, so let's go through some of these options here. We're gonna pick English as our language. We can update the installer as we do the install, so we will update to the new installer, and that'll just take a few moments for that to happen. As for the keyboard layout, I'm gonna select English US, and you can pick between Ubuntu server and the minimal version. I'm just gonna pick the standard Ubuntu server version and hit done. If you need to do any special network setup, you can do that on this page. I'm gonna accept the defaults, which are probably good for you too. Hit enter. I don't have a proxy, so I'll skip this. And the default Ubuntu mirror address is fine for us, so we'll click enter again. And the virtual disk that we created, that was 25 gigabytes, we wanna use that whole thing for Ubuntu. So we'll keep that option selected, come down here to done, hit enter. And that looks good for our storage configuration, so we'll hit enter again. And because this is a fresh 25 gigabyte virtual disk drive, we don't have to worry about losing any data, so we can go ahead and continue here. Go ahead and type in your name, pick a name for your server, pick a username, and choose a password and then hit done. You have the option to enable Ubuntu Pro. I'm gonna skip that for now and hit continue. And I do want to install the OpenSSH server, which we're gonna show you how to use at the end of this video. And we'll go ahead and hit done. If you wanna install some additional packages, go ahead and do that on this page. I'm gonna skip over this one. 
And now the installation will occur so we can sit back and watch that happen. And actually while that is happening, you might notice that your mouse has gotten trapped within the virtual machine window. The way to get that out is, I'll, I'll put an error on the screen here, it's this left um, command key. So all you have to do is hit the command key on the left of your keyboard, since there's two of them, one on the right, one on the left. Hit the left one and that'll release your mouse from the window, as you can see here. And now I can let that install in the background, do other things on my computer, and then come back in here. So anytime your mouse gets trapped, you can just hit that escape key right there. Okay, and a few minutes later, our installation is complete, as you can see right below my mouse here. So what we're gonna do now is reboot the virtual machine. And if you do see those unmounting failures, that is okay, don't worry about that. Just let it do this thing for a few more seconds. And at some point it will reboot and start back up. And then finally you'll come to the login screen like this one, which just got covered up by some additional output. It's kind of confusing, but if you just hit enter a couple times, you'll see the login prompt show up. So what it's asking here for is your username, which mine was Tony. Then you can type in your password and that should log you into your Ubuntu desktop, or I'm sorry, your Ubuntu server on your local desktop in a virtual machine. So what we're gonna do now is try to log into it via SSH on a terminal window. If, if I'm on Mac, I'm on a Mac. If you're on Windows, then we're gonna use the command prompt. I have other videos about how to SSH on Windows. Um, but out of the box, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna open up a new terminal window and try to log in via SSH. So SSH, Tony at localhost. Or you can use 127.0.0.1. But either way, initially it's not gonna work because that port is not open. How do we open port 22, which is the SSH port? Well, we can come into our virtual machine inside of VirtualBox, go to settings, and go to network, advanced, port forwarding. What we're gonna do is add a new port forwarding rule for from port 22 for TCP protocol to port 22 on the guest port. So from host port 222 to guest port, sorry, from host port 22 to guest port 22, which just means um, the guest machine, the virtual machine, it's gonna be listening on port 22 and we're gonna use port 22 in our terminal window on our um, local machine. So let's save that role, hit okay. And I'm not sure, I think it should just start working right away and it does. Uh, this error message probably won't show up for you. That's because I have connected to another server on my machine that says localhost. So let me just fix that real quick. Okay, and let's try that again. So I'm gonna do SSH, my username at localhost. And because this is now the first time I'm connecting to this machine, do you trust it? You can type in yes, hit enter. And now you can type in your same password as before. And now you'll be logged into the Ubuntu virtual machine via SSH. And my preference is to use this, use a terminal window and start this up in headless mode because we don't really need to use the user interface in an Ubuntu server virtual machine, right? So let me show you how to start this up in headless mode. So I'm gonna get out of here and we're just gonna, we'll send the, the shutdown signal now so the machine actually turns off and we get kicked out of our SSH session over here. But the next time we can start this up in headless mode, you just select your virtual machine over here. And instead of clicking the big green arrow, you click this drop down box here and you can start the virtual machine in headless mode, which just means it's not gonna bring up that user interface. You can kind of see what it's doing in the background here in the, in, in the preview window. Uh, but once that does come up, we can just minimize our virtual box manager window here open up a terminal window like we did before, and then SSH in via that way. And just like that. So if you want to take this a step further and actually do something with your Ubuntu virtual machine, such as running a website locally on your computer, then check out this video next where I show you how to set up an Nginx server, a LEMP server, Linux, Nginx, My MySQL, and PHP, and we'll run WordPress website on top of that. I'll see you over there.